Good morning from Nome, Alaska. We just had a great night's sleep here at the Dredge Number 7 Inn. And since we had to leave our Overland Expedition vehicle in Anchorage, Dredge Number 7 also has Jeep rentals. So you may be wondering, Nome, Alaska, that's pretty remote. How many roads could there possibly be there? Well, our buddy Richard said there's like around 350 miles of roads. I think we're ready to hit the road to council. And uh, it's a 70 mile drive? Something like that. About that. Yeah. So apparently the geography and the topography is very diverse in this direction. Richard, the mayor, really recommended we do the drive to council first instead of the drive to Teller and we're still in process to try to find uh, and get permits to go to Pilgrim Hot Springs, which is on land owned by the Native Corporation. So this little office here on the left is where we uh, went earlier to inquire about permits. And no matter where you are, you can always find a Chinese food restaurant. I see a lot of ATVs sporting around town. That's pretty normal in the villages, guys. Uh, ATVs and in the winter snow machines are very convenient forms of transportation. And also use less fuel, so they're more economical. Yeah. Okay, I know a lot of you guys love it when we hit the dirt roads, and here it is. Boom. Let the adventure begin. What do I believe? What makes me feel it? To write you this song Two hours a day Five months and a year Oh, I loved you too long I hear happy giggles over here. Oh yes. I uh, might be a little ill prepared for this because I envisioned catching grayling in some of the uh, creeks and streams, but when we got here, this area, let me just get this cast master off. This area is plugged with pink salmon. So since I was thinking grayling, which are like yay big, I grabbed <laughs> one of my little miniature ice fishing setups with four pound test. So this could be fun. Look at all of them. Incredible, look at it. Oh my gosh, like seven at once. Ah. <laughs> you see why we couldn't help but stop. <laughs> Finessing the drag. Normally when I go snagging, I have to just rip them ashore. But fortunately, it's not all that big of a paint. Well, there we go. That was easy. Broke my line at the end. All right, there you go. There you go. <laughs> my line broke just as we, uh, we were releasing that fish. So yeah, you know, we're not here on a fishing trip. This is all just spur of the moment. That's why we're doing catch and release. And there are literally thousands of fish in here and that fish was uh, released unharmed and it'll spawn if somebody else doesn't catch it or a predator doesn't eat it or yeah. <laughs> I think they get the point. <laughs> is this the cast? I hope so. No shortage of uh, <laughs> fish out there though. I love how they look like sharks swimming around where all you see are their fins come up. That is so cool. Yeah, guys, this uh, lagoon, for lack of another word. <gasps> oh, hey, there it is. Fish on. <laughs> I've never caught a fish on this small of a line. Any recommendations? Reel it in slow. If he wants to pull drag, pull drag. Do not tighten the drag because the uh, 
Drag is our friend when you're using four pound test. <laughs> <laughs> a little bit more, then you can start to beach. Come here, guys. Why don't you just work your way on up? <laughs> He's like, oh no, not the water, not the land. Yep. Wow, look at him. It's a nice uh, looking humpy. Hey, we also get to show off your shoes. I know. Nice man, footwear, shoes. honey. You need to get them dirty so you look like an Alaskan because when they're new you look like a tourist. It's like being a kid in a candy shop out here. You just like can't help yourself. I know we're not eating them but still it's so much fun being able to just cast a line out and almost let's see guarantee you're gonna catch a fish. Woo! There, there we go. My fish is bigger than your fish. True. Yours was a buck. This is a hen. But the release is so simple. There you go. Boom. Just one more cast. There's always just one more cast. Hmm. Okay, one more cast. I've heard that about uh -huh. 10 times now. Last cast, I promise, honey. Right. <laughs> One last cast, honey. Are you guys keeping count of how many times he said that now? Because <laughs> I've lost track. There's always time for one more cast. <clears throat> There's something following you. How lucky are we to live? in a state where you can do stuff like this. But there's a def definitely like a different element of the sport on light tackle. I get it, I love it. Hello, that's a boy. Yeah, got the hump. Uh -huh. Ready for the release? Okay, it's time to get back on the road because we still have a fair amount of distance to cover if we're gonna make up oh, yeah. towards council. This is the hour, the darkest place. Dante's inferno, the devil's maze. It's a good world. about 73 miles from Nome. Uh, this is where Council is, but actually Council is on the other side of the river. And the river is right down here. And this river is completely crossable. If you have local knowledge and you're not in a rental vehicle because <laughs> you're not allowed to cross the river. I understand. I do too. There's a lot at risk here. I wouldn't, you know, with Denny, I wouldn't pull up here and just cross willy-nilly. No. Well, yeah. there's no cell phone service out here. 
And there, she said there are rocks underneath the water yeah. that you can't see. But there's hazards, and mm -hmm. if you know the route, it's a piece of cake. Yeah. This is nice, guys. I am in a happy place. There's not too many places in the world where one can get so detached from civilization, but yet still be on a road system. This is really cool. And off in the distance there, you can see the village of Council. What a grand adventure, guys. What do you think? I hope everybody's enjoying this as much as we are. <laughs> and I'm so glad that Ben loves this place as much as I thought he would, because I've always wanted to come out here with you. Is this like a place where we could maybe have a property at I some point in our lives? I definitely think that we could have like a summer home or our, something up our here. Our buddy Clinton raves about this area mm -hmm. and wanting to retire out here. Yep. Who knows? Never can tell where the road will lead. What is it? It's a really weird color of dirt out here. It's almost green. It is. It's kind of crazy. It is. Unique materials out here. Uh -huh. It has been quite nice having the Jeep and taking the... Uh, top off there it's so easy yeah it was really fun to do that it, it's just refreshing mm -hmm. I've had a lot of fun and plus we've got some kick-ass angles I think so well we may have packed a lunch but we didn't pack dinner and it's time to head back to Nome but before we do so Rebecca is gonna fly the drone <laughs> on the way back yeah are you ready for I it I told him today maybe I need my own drone because he never lets me fly ours I'm a whoa, whoa, no 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 <laughs> no I'd never <laughs> You never want to. Mm, well, too much so, pressure. But this is no pressure, and let's see how she does, guys. You leave a comment and blow how you think your drone footage looks. It might be better than this. Could be. <laughs> you had a good teacher. Oh. <laughs> I've said it many times, I know. I would change my ways, I know for sure. When all the crows decide to meet They settle down beneath my feet I've got it right and I got it wrong But I learned my lesson hanging on Come sit here with me by the fire And let it go for a little while so be here as the night well, I think this brings our Gnome to Council overlandish adventure to a close for today. We're back at the Dredge Number 7 Inn. Alright, well, thank you for joining us. Hope you enjoyed that last drone flight of the day. Um, we will see you tomorrow for some more adventures here in yeah, Gnome. Definitely catch what we're up to here. There's going to be at least two to three videos. Yeah. Thanks for watching, guys. See you tomorrow.